Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Warhammer battle. This is going to be a 1v1 with me as the Vampire Counts and the enemy as the Dwarves. Uh, it's about a minute or so into this game. They originally positioned themselves right here. I was over here with these guys going up the forest to try and be a surprise. Like, haha, here's a, here's a surprise Wraith Force. But, well... I pulled them out early because they didn't have any cannons. Uh, for the army here, we have a front line of skeletal warriors. I brought the corpse card with the unholy lodestone. We have three, um, whatever these things are, cryptors. The double necromancers and Krell build that I always go with when I play as Krell. And then over here, I have the two puppies. And then again, the three cannon race. My ally has a front line of all dwarf warriors and some miners mixed in. We have a rune lord, a runesmith, and a master engineer. Behind them, we have four thunderers and then a group of the dragonback slayers and a dwarf warrior with great weapons on the flanks. And that is the army composition. Uh, so again, they deployed there. I deployed there originally. It's about a minute in. And I thought they would choose to bring artillery, which is why I had this, you know, ambushy force. I was going to go all the way up to this forest and just kind of pop out like, ah! surprise rates and they didn't i was shocked uh so they're going to march up here they are in range or they will be in range here soon with their guns because i'm going to be marching up because i'm also going to be hitting them from the side with these three can race getting the puppies up here into an attack position but not going in quite yet and i can see that they have thunderers uh moving over so i'm like eh, let's move make sure we got this hillside between us and the thunderers i don't want the puppies getting shot remember you got to treat your puppies with love and care and t and tenderness i don't know just love. Just love your puppies. I'm so tired of seeing people not love the puppies. Uh, so they're not really having much of a reaction over here to my Karen Wraith um, flank. So I'm just going to like, okay, let's just go in here and kill some Dwarf Warriors. So we're good. that's what we're going to do. We're going to engage against these Dwarf Warriors with the Karen Wraith. These two are going to move on into the uh, group of Thunderers. The Slayers are going to march over here as the line is being extended to try and react to my two puppies flanking them. Uh, along with the group of Thunderers, which is understandable. You would want to stop the puppies. Mainline Skeletal Warriors just going to go head on. Behind them, we're going to have the three Cryptors. Behind that, we're going to have the uh, Corpse Cart. Necromancers are going to post up here and around here. Heinrich is just going to go in for melee, but I'm going to keep the Necromancers out of melee so that they're master of the Dead Trey can proc, and I don't need to worry about them randomly dying. This uh, Cairn Wraith is going to keep these Thunderers at bay along with these Dwarf Warrior. This Cairn Wraith is going to go into these Thunderers, and here comes the, match the um, Clash. I'm going to run up my puppies real quickly, but then we're going to do a little bit of the little whatever that action is. Because I don't want them engaging against the Dragonback Slayers. You can see this Thunderer is firing, so now I'm going to move this guy up here. We're going to summon some zombies on top of the uh, Thunderer there. The second is going to move up here, drop some more zombies or skeletons, I can't remember, on this Thunderer right here. And I'm just going to go bloop, 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 bloop. And we're just going to run away from these Dragonback Slayers. Don't run your puppies into Dragonback Slayers. It's not what they want to be. So we're just going to run them over here, and they're going to run right into the Rune Lord and try and take out their leadership as fast as possible. Heinrich's going to be helping this center over here against these Dwarf four Where's my thing about? There we go. Against uh, those Dwarf Warriors right there. Can race. I'm going to be dropping three-ish invocations from the heck in this whole area to keep them up and operational against these Dwarf Warriors and Thunderers. There goes my Skeletons. The Dragonback Slayer is going to be run into those as our Cryptors and uh, Skeletal Warriors and Necromancers is cleaning up this side. After these Miners route, which is going to be pretty soon, we're going to get these Cryptors over here. I'm just going to kind of go down the line with the Cryptors. You can see the two puppies are on the Rune Lord. I want to try and kill their Rune Lord as fast as possible so we can get that Rune of Wrath and Ruin out of this game because it, it, it hurts a lot. But you see the scan Wraith is just kind of getting pounded uh, by this Runesmith and then um, the Thunderers too. But I'm going to, again, I'm going to keep casting, whoa, Invocations of the Heck around this area. And here we go, we're kind of collapsing our Cryptors in towards the center to assist the Buffies with the leader. I just summoned another, actually I think these are not summoned. Yeah, these are just normal Skeletal Warriors. I'm going to throw them into the Dragonback Slayers. Do what I can to make sure that they are going to be back here and far away from my Puppies and my Cryptors. So those Skeletons are just running interference. This other Skeletal Group is running interference on this Miner. This guy's going to support the can race. I think we already cast a second invocation on the heck in this whole area to keep these can race up. We're going to summon a zombie to try and take some hits from these can race. As we continue to try and kill the Rune Lord, who's being very, very resistant to the puppy and the Cryptors that are nearby. Uh, meanwhile, Heiner Kimmler, I think, is being thrown in there. I think he's in there. Yeah, he's in there trying to also kill the, the Rune Lord. Thunderers got free from this position, so we're going to be like, well, okay, so we're just going to summon some more zombies or skeletal warriors on top of them. Because that's what the vampire counts do. There we go. There goes the zombies. Corpse Guard is in a safe position because there are no cannons to threaten it, so it's just sitting there buffing up uh, our whole area around there. Can Wraith still here on the flanks holding back the Dwarf Warriors with the Rune Lord. This Can Wraith has just been hit by the Runes of Wrath and Ruin a few times, uh, so it will eventually succumb to that. This Can Wraith, meanwhile, over here is taking out that Dwarf Warrior Great Weapon, is now working on the Minor Group. 
And we are still working on the Rune Lord. Both the puppies are still working on the Rune Lord. I didn't think it would take this long with two puppies attacking him, but it is. At this point, like, we probably would have been better with them just killing Dwarf Warriors and Thunderers. But, oh, well, whatever. We finally got the Rune Lord to rout, and we were going to kill him right there. Heinerkim is going to go after the Master Engineer now, trying to get the rest of the Dwarven leadership. Puppies are going to go somewhere. I can't remember where they go. Uh, but we're just trying to silence these guns with the Skeletal Warriors and, and the Zombies. Dragback Slayers are killing a bunch of Skeletal Warriors, which is exactly what I want. These can race are on the edge of death. Actually, do they die? Looks like they probably die. I think they die. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, there they go. Uh, but yeah, at this point you can kind of see... They don't really have much of a chance. Uh, they still have the Dragonback Warriors, but I'm just going to run more Zombies and Skeletal Warriors into them. These Gunners are opening up, so I'm going to throw some Cryptors, and I think I eventually run the Puppies this way as we're dealing with the Master Engineer with Heinrich Kimmler and the Puppies. Move this uh, Corpse Guard over there. And then their army is going to shatter, and then we will focus on the Dragonback Slayers. So I want to say this. I wanted to play Krell, so I went into the match. Picked vampire accounts. At the time, they were on like Wood Elves or whatever the default. I think it's the default is Wood Elves. And after I picked the vampire accounts, they then picked the dwarves. I want to stress this because I, I've said it before. I think dwarf and vampire accounts is the worst matchup in the game. It is such an uphill battle for the dwarves to win against the vampire account army. Um, so, like, I didn't counter pick them, I picked counts because I want to play Krell and then they picked the dwarves and I was like oh you are a brave person my friend you are a very brave person I I you know clap at your bravery but um it did not end well for the dwarves because the vampire counts are just their army is perfect for killing dwarves it's just perfect the dwarves have a very hard time against large creatures unless they spam a bunch of gyro bombers or a bunch of very very expensive uh, slayers and if they don't manage those slayers properly which are the in this case the only answer they had to all my large creatures um, i guess thunder was too but they were mostly being silenced uh by zombies and shit if the slayers are not managed into a position that they can kill the puppies and the cryptors it's going to be hard and it's so easy for vampire accounts to stop those very expensive units that the dwarves have you just summon summon a zombie or skeletal warrior on top of them and then they're stopped for i don't know a minute or so as they chew through a summon unit and then you know what you just do it again so they the dwarves just have such a hard time again unless they pick gyro bombers gyrocopters which is a probably what you should do if you fight against a vampire count you should at least get like two or three probably three at least standard against a vampire count army just in case they bring a bunch of puppies and cryptors um because it's just it's 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 a it's an uphill battle for sure for sure i think it's the worst matchup in the game um so for chaos here the, the skeletal warriors they do what they do they just held the dwarf warriors in place karen race did okay cryptors did great puppies did good i guess and this thing just buffed us uh heinrich Kimmel only got two kills but that's okay I don't expect much from Heinrich Kimmler against the Dwarves. He's not really an armor piercer, but uh, I still use him anyway. And then uh, for the Dwarves, the Dwarf Warriors kill some Skeletal Warriors. They kill some Wraiths, but they didn't really touch the Puppies. They didn't really touch the Cryptors, which was uh, a lot of the damage. I guess the other Wraiths were also doing a lot of damage. I think they hit the Wraiths specifically with the Runes of Wrath and Ruin over and over again, which is what you should do in this situation, but it's just, you know, Invocation of the Heck. There you go. Cancels out their damage. It's... It's such a hard time for the dwarves. It really is. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the Krell battle. And let's watch a cinematic view of these poor dwarves fighting against the vampire accounts. What up, can rates? You are being flanked, dwarves. That was a pretty weak charge.
Realize I was talking. That's the I picked Krell. Right now, right I called him Krell in this right. episode, didn't I? Not Kimler. At once. I always do that. I don't even know why. I always call him Kimler Krell. Yeah, get him. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that puppy or the Cryptor, I'm not entirely sure, just took that dude's head right the hell off. Ouch. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you all in the next one. Take care.